Hello there. Uh, today we are going to be learning about the sort command. Now, sorting is a very helpful tool in that it can bring some organization to your grasshopper definition because there are times that grasshopper just gets confused. So sorting is a huge uh, benefit. So I am going to uh, start off this assignment drawing a bunch of randomized circles, and I'm going to extrude them uh, in the V direction and copy them in the V direction. So I will show you when uh, sorting is significant and how it can be used to better assist you in creating a geometry that you want. So let me see the units. I'm going to do the units and feet. Circles. So I want to copy and make a randomized set of circles that move vertically. So I am going to get the Z coordinate. I'm going to use the random. And the number that I want to create is I want to create 25 circles. So I put that in the number in the in the number. And then for the range, <clears throat> I want to have these circles copied and moved vertically towards a range. So I'm going to create construct domain. I'm going to make the range between 89 feet and Maybe let me reduce this. Okay, so and then the seed is giving me the different variations. So I can see which I want. Uh, let's let me increase this to 150 feet. Okay, so now I have a series of randomized circles. Now I want to scale them in a very randomized method. So I will use the scale and you geometry. I will get the area of each circle. That will be the plane. Now I am going to do the same thing with the randomized method, but I'm going to decrease my numbers. So I want, I want to have them scaled bigger, but not by too much. And I'm going to put it in R uh, because I'd like to have more uh, decimal points. And in terms of the number, I'm going to use a list length because I want to use the number of circles that I'm using. The number. I want to make the C big so I have different options. So. Range. Let me make this upper range into twelve. Let me put this as R and let me go into X. Okay, so you can see that they are scaling and then let me copy this put it in the y okay so let me freeze everything 
So this is, these are our series of circles. So let me play around with the seed. Maybe. Okay, let me go with that. Okay, so let me, the next step is why don't I, why don't I loft it? Let's see what happens when I loft all these curves and you'll see what I'm getting at. Let me flatten it. Okay, so you see something really weird is happening. And that is because the sequence of the geometries is all over the place since I did a randomize. Now, if I wanted to have a perfectly clean uh, loft starting from here to here, we have to use the sort command. So let us first see the problem. The problem is here. I'll put the endpoints. Uh, I'm going to add a point list. Let me Okay, let me reduce. Okay, so here is the problem. When I put the point list, what's happening is that all these circles are in different order because we randomized it. What we want to do is we want this bottom one to be 0 and then this top number to be the last number in the loft. So what we do is we can use the sort command, sort list. So I will get this. So now I want to deconstruct these curves and orient it in the Z direction. So I go to deconstruct, deconstruct, whoops, endpoints. I'll get it from here. The Z components. So these are the keys. This is the value. Let's see what happens. Whoops. Okay, so aha, so we solved the problem. Now you can see is that the bottom starts at zero, the top is at 12, and when I do a loft, it's a clean loft. So that is where sorting comes in huge. Okay, so now you can see we were able to make a very organized loft just using the sort command and deconstructing each curve by the Z component as we did here. So I'm gonna add my uh, bifocals. Now, the next thing we wanna do is we wanna create a bunch of intersections on this loft so that it becomes sort of like a, its own sort of structure. Now, we will see some problems and one of the important things to know about grasshopper is that there are a lot of rules you need to follow and when you know the rules you become more familiar with how to approach different situations so I want to create some intersections so I'm going to go to my deconstruct B wrap I want to select the bottom curve that's where I can draw my intersections so let me put it at 12 I'm gonna put 12, oh, oops, I'm sorry. I need to select the, the edge, so two is the upper number. Okay, so then I'm gonna divide this curve. I will make this into 14. Putting 14 divisions. I wanna create some vertical uh, intersections so I will play normals Oops. use the B wrap plane and the loft is that 
Okay, so as you can see, I made 14 divisions, but it looks like a lot more than 14. Now, the reason this is happening is that when you create an intersection, like when you create it at this point, this intersection goes throughout. So what you have, what happens is that you get two intersections. And if I use my param viewer, that's what's happening. For each, each cut, there are two items. So we want to get the primary cut. We don't want the secondary cut because this is what's making it uh, screwy. So we're going to use the sort command again. So this time, we want to use point on cloud, closest point. OK, so I will do a curve on point. Get the point here. I want to put some clouds. So I want to take this and graft it. So I want to get to the point. This is grafted. And the reason why I want to graph it is because I want to make, because basically we have uh, 14 branches and I need to create 14 branches to analyze this. So I go to the sort list. The keys will be the distance. The values that I want to sort will be the curves. And the values, I, as you can see, there are two items. So what I will be able to do is I will get those two cuts. So just by the zero uh, list item, I am able to collect the primary cut. If I give a slider, As you can see, the zero is the primary cut. The one is the cut that's going beyond the actual cut. And you can see that even on this model, you can see that the cut isn't corresponding to, to the actual plane cut. So since these are the cuts as intended, I am just going to pipe this just to show you that we have a little bit of design. And then I can bake it. And you can see a little bit of a structural form based on randomizing circles, sorting those circles, lofting it, deconstructing the loft, and creating vertical intersections. Thanks.